Well, I'm here with Helen Matthews, Deputy CEO of Cure Parkinson's. Um, Helen, one of the things that I found when I first was diagnosed is I, I really had an urge to help the Parkinson's community. How can people contribute? For me, I think the critical thing for each person when they receive that diagnosis is to find out as much as they can about Parkinson's because that knowledge will enable people to start to decide which is the right route for them. So research comes in so many different forms. It could be a survey. Sharing your views about your experiences is a massively important part of research, just as much as uh, sitting as, as an advisor, um, as, as a group of people with Parkinson's helping to shape some research. None of this actually involves taking an experimental drug, but that is also an option. But equally, you could be providing blood samples or just even your lived experience with your family. All of those insights are really valuable for research. So that very first putting your toe in the water with research is, is a hugely appreciated and a hugely important step. How can I find out what research opportunities are available, what clinical trials I can participate in, for example? So there are a number of ways that you can do that. We list the trials that we're involved in on our website, which is cureparkinsons.org.uk. Also here in the UK, Parkinson's UK has got a very good Take Part hub, which uh, you can put in your postcode and that will pull up the studies that are available in your area. The NIHR has a similar platform that can also help uh, screen for some of the studies that might be relevant for you. And then internationally, there's uh, um, Fox Trial Finder, which again is a really useful tool for finding uh, interventional studies that are going on globally. And I guess you can speak to your neurolog neurologist as well. Absolutely. It's really important to, if you have an interest in research, to raise the question with your neurologist and say that you have an interest. And they may be able to refer you into a study that's right for you. There are studies that are ongoing for people with Parkinson's at every stage and it's making sure that you you're involved in the study that's right for you um, so definitely involving your healthcare team is, is very very important. What are some of the ways people can fundraise for Parkinson's? Oh Jodie that's a wonderful mixed bag uh, every every week we hear of uh, wonderful stories of people doing incredible things and every single one of them's a hero as far as I'm concerned uh, we've got a dog walking challenge going on this April which uh, is hilarious there's a lot of very muddy paws going on <laughs> around the country uh, and and who knew that that would be such a popular thing we're just doing it through Facebook which is fantastic but there are other people who are running marathons and and others who are rowing the Atlantic it's it's doing what suits you and and if people would like to fundraise then we have a, a wealth of information on our website around those different ideas do you think there's enough awareness of parkinson's and, and if not what can we do to raise awareness jody i don't think there's enough of enough awareness about parkinson's parkinson's is such a complicated con condition that actually trying to give it a simple face is is not always easy um you know, I think it's hugely important that we raise the profile of young onset Parkinson's, uh, which is is now, uh, according to the Movement Disorder Society, they're reclassifying that as as under the age of, of 50, which actually does make sense. And because of the genetic uh, elements to young onset Parkinson's, that does certainly contribute to helping clarify the disease a bit. I think it's really critical that we see more people with Parkinson's standing up to be counted. That is the only way that we can raise the profile of this disease, make it a priority health condition for governments globally. And I think it's fantastic the work that the WHO is doing with their technical brief on Parkinson's, which hopefully will address some of the health inequalities globally for people living with Parkinson's. But there is so much more that needs to be done. You've obviously seen a lot of people with Parkinson's through your work with Cure Parkinson's. What, what message would you give them of a message of hope perhaps? Jodie, I think it's really critical that everybody remembers that if you know one person with Parkinson's, well, that's just it. You know that one person and their journey with Parkinson's will be completely different to somebody else's. So the most important thing is to really know your own Parkinson's. And with that, you're better able to make really good informed decisions. Helen, thank you very much for your time. That was brilliant. You can help us keep making this content by simply subscribing to the channel. And remember, there's a new video every week.